Now we will see the can and bird theory of emotion. According to this theory, the emotions and physiological reaction, that is the bodily reaction, takes place at the same time after perceiving a stimulus. This is what the theory says. The emotion and physiological reaction take place at the same time. I will explain this further. Uh, first, now we will see how the theory got its name, the can and bird theory. Here comes two scientists, uh, not scientists, like psychologists, Walter Cannon and L.L. Bird. In 1927, Walter Cannon gave an explanation of emotion. Later, L.L. Bird found about thalamus and hypothalamus that are responsible for emotional reactions. So the theory got its name as can and bird theory. These two people name are responsible for the name of the theory. Now let's see uh, further explanation of this theory. So the theory says emotion and physiological reaction take place at the same time. Emotion and bodily reaction takes place at the same time. This is a diagram that may help you know it further. So, the perception of a stimulus takes place first. Then, the signals goes to the hypothalamic and thalamic regions of the brain, of our brain. Then, the signal travels to the internal organs and the cerebral cortex. You will find it easier with an example. Let's see the bear example. When we see a bear, we used to get fear and run. So this theory says, according to the Cannon Bird theory, when we perceive that bear as dangerous, we perceive the bear, this bear is the stimulus. We perceive the bear as dangerous. So we feel afraid and run at the same time. So the emotion of feeling afraid, this fear, and running the physiological reaction takes place at the same time as i said earlier the emotion and physiological reaction takes place at the same time the emotion that is fear and physiological reaction that is running takes place at the same time according to cannon bird theory so let's see this so first the perceiving bear Perception of the stimulus that is perceiving bear as dangerous takes place. Then the sensory impulses go straight to the brain parts, thalamus and hypothalamus. And at the same time, the signals go to the internal organs and the cerebral cortex. When it goes to the internal organs, our legs are ready to run. And it, at the same time, the signals goes to the cerebral cortex, the feeling of emotion. So running and the feeling of emotion takes place at the same time. So this is what the Canberra theory says.